solve the given system of equations. So let's go ahead and work this out. Now there's lots of ways to do this. We're going to take um, a really basic approach. So I'm going to number these one, two, and three. So we've numbered them. And the idea is as follows. We're going to pick two equations and get rid of a variable. And then we're going to pick another two equations and get rid of the same variable. So for example, let's take the first two and write them down again. So x plus y plus z equals 0, and then x plus 2y minus 3z equals 0. And let's eliminate the x. So the question you ask is, what do you multiply the first equation by so that when you add it to the second, the x goes away? Well, negative 1. So multiplying the first equation by negative 1 gives us minus x minus y minus z equals 0. And then you just write down the second one. So x plus 2y minus 3z equals 0. So now we can actually add these two equations. And we will eliminate the x. So negative x plus x is 0. Negative y plus 2y is y. And negative z plus negative 3z is negative 4z. And 0 plus 0 is 0. So we end up with y minus 4z equals 0. So I'm going to put this in a faint yellow dotted box because we're going to need it. We're going to come back to that. Okay, so now we pick another two equations and we get rid of the same variable. So let's take the first one and the third one. So I'll write them down again. So x plus y plus z equals 0. And then the third equation is 3x plus 4y plus 2z equals negative 1. And the question you ask is, what do you multiply the first equation by so that when you add it to the second one, the x's go away? Well, negative 3. So we'll multiply that first equation by negative 3. So minus 3x minus 3y minus 3z equals 0. And then we still have 3x plus 4y plus 2z equals negative 1. And now we can add. And the x's go away. That was the whole point. So negative 3x plus 3x is 0. Negative 3y plus 4y is y. And negative 3z plus 2z is negative z. And then 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. So we end up with y minus z equals negative 1. I'm going to put this in a faint yellow box. So now we have two things in yellow boxes. And those are the things we're going to use uh, to finish solving this problem. So now we'll write both of these down. So y minus 4z is equal to 0. And then y minus z is equal to negative 1. And again, the question is, what do we multiply the first equation by so that when we add it to the second, the y goes away? Well, negative 1. So this is minus y plus 4z equals 0. And then y minus z equals negative 1. Right? We multiplied that first equation by negative 1. And then we'll add. Negative y plus y is 0. 4z, so I'll write it 0. 4z, and then you add a negative z, you get 3z. And 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. So we get 3z is equal to negative 1. And now you divide by 3. And so z is equal to negative 1 third. Now that we have z, we can use a technique that's called back substitution. So you just go back to a previous equation and plug in z. So let's use this one. So y minus z is equal to negative 1. So y 
Now we have a minus and z is minus one third, so it's y plus one third is equal to negative one. So we subtract one third, so we get y equals negative one minus one third. Negative one is negative three thirds. So we get y equals negative four thirds. Now we have y, we have z, it looks like the best choice is the first equation. So let's go back to the first equation and plug y and z back in. So x plus y plus z equals zero. So we don't know x, so we still have x. y is negative four thirds. z is negative one third. And this is equal to zero. So we get x minus five thirds and this is equal to zero. So x is equal to five thirds. And that's it, we're done. I suppose you could leave your answer like that. Um, you can write it in another way. You can write it as a point in space. So x comma y comma z. So in this case, x was five thirds. So this is five thirds. Y was negative four thirds and looks like z was negative one-third. So that's our ordered triple, x, y, z. And that is the answer. You know, no matter, no matter how many times you do uh, these problems, you always have to be careful. So uh, just, just be careful when you're working out problems like this. It's so easy to make a careless mistake. I hope this helps.